Less than a week after a gas explosion rocked a Harper Woods neighborhood, police say the same thing could have happened at another home after some appliances were stolen. Now investigators are trying to figure out if there's a connection between the two. 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash shows us what happened. It was a realtor who smelled the gas coming from this vacant home and noticed this broken window. Thankfully, that realtor did not go inside. Police say it could have been deadly. A lot of people could have, you know, possibly died or been injured. Jeff Holland is talking about what could have happened at this vacant home right across the street from his mom's house on Woodside and Harper Woods. Police say someone broke in and stole the furnace, hot water heater and dryer. They say the gas line from the dryer hadn't been shut off and there could have been an explosion. Around 11 o'clock Wednesday morning, it was a realtor who noticed something was wrong. Uh, once they smelled that odor of natural gas, they got themselves out of the area and they actually notified DTE and then DTE, they were able to notify us as well. It was just last week in Harper Woods when a gas leak caused an explosion at this house about two miles away on Lennon. Three people were injured. Police say that gas leak started when someone tried to steal a furnace. They're both similar in nature, uh, but as of right now, we, uh, we can't connect the two. At the vacant home on Woodside, DTE recorded high levels of gas, but thankfully nobody was hurt. Holland says whoever's behind these thefts must stop. Um... It, it, it's definitely scary. Police want to remind everyone that anytime you smell gas, get out of that area and call DTE or 911 right away. In Harper Woods, New Prakash, 7 Action News. The Wayne